Hello, welcome back to another haul. I swear I'm actually putting myself on a spending ban now because this spring I have shopped so much. In my defense, I have a busy summer and this is kind of me prepping the bare bones of a lot of outfits that I want to wear over the next couple of months. As of next week, I will have no time to shop for anything. So in all fairness, that spending ban might be very, very easy for me. I am actually so excited to show you what I have in today's orders. There are multiple orders from multiple places. We've got bits from COS, Urban Outfitters, I know. It's good at the moment, okay? Anthropology, which is basically like grown-ups Urban Outfitters, and I did Google and then realized that they are in fact owned by Urban Outfitters. I have a little something something from Suzanne, H&M, Mesh Key, I know. This pile is so big, I don't even know where to begin, but let's just dive right in. Okay, items from COS. Straight up, we have this knitted waistcoat. I believe they did this last year and I really wanted it and could not get my hands on it. Last year, I feel like it came with an accompanying skirt of some kind. I did not see that this time around. However, this is adorable. I like wearing it with just the top button done up. And yeah, a nice pair of loose jeans with this. It looks so cute so so cute this i think would also work really nicely with a long black skirt it would this is just one of those pieces that's going to work really seamlessly into my wardrobe and i love the fact that it's knitted it's a little bit thicker it's great for this transitional period but will also be lovely throughout the summer as well it's probably going to be like more of my uk waistcoat i like the fact that it is a bit thicker and will keep me a bit warmer whereas my linen one is a little bit more thin so very holiday appropriate also from cos i have the aforementioned high rise nice loose straight leg jeans these are the jeans that i love that i have in black and do i have another color do i have them in white i think the white might actually be a different style but cos jeans Cos denim is just my favorite right now. I do have some other jeans in this haul, but I'm honestly not sure that they can compare to a Cos pair of jeans. And I saw by some miracle that the light blue had come back into stock in this style. I think they have already gone again, but you never know. They could be back by the time this video goes live. They may restock. So keep an eye out. I will link them. As always, all of the links for everything can be found in the info box below. I'll try and remember to do sizing as well where possible. But yeah, they're like a lovely high rise, but not super high waisted. So if you have a short torso like me, they're not super high waisted, but they're not super low rise either. But they're also not that awkward mid rise that makes me look bigger and hits me at my biggest point on the waist. We had that with a pair of mango jeans in my last haul and I don't, I don't love that. But this, these jeans, these jeans are perfect. So I'll show you those on in a second. They're just so nice. They're so comfortable as well. I get a size. Let me just tell you the sizing whilst I'm here because I will not remember. I get a size 26. In these and they fit like a dream obsessed this is the knitted waistcoat buttoned up i actually love it either with just the bottom button undone or the bottom two i think it just makes it look a bit more fun it looks very done when it's all like done up i think it just gives it a slightly different shape as well this is the way i wore it for a tiktok and i got so many questions on it and i love it with like a big messy bun on the top of my head i just think it gives it a really nice smart casual feel and i paired it with the cos jeans i think this worked really nicely together but equally with a pair of like white trousers or like linen trousers a nice flowy cotton trouser this is equally nice as well with a white skirt in the summer this would be gorgeous too my black silk shorts like this is just gonna be the gift that keeps on giving see it's giving like bridal but low key but it doesn't even have to be giving bridal to be honest because literally anyone could wear this it's so nice such a nice little combo this skirt is from zara i think two years ago i slept on it for a long time in my wardrobe and this happens sometimes i see things that are great basics and i try them on i'm like yep they fit great there's no reason not to keep this then i keep it for a year and I'm like oh my god I haven't worn it and then suddenly it will just be an integral part of my wardrobe and it's been creeping up on me like last summer I started wearing it more and I just have a feeling that this summer I'm going to get the most wear out of it ever I just think about it all the time and I love that it's a skirt from the front and then little shorts at the back and it just fits so well literally like a glove you're going to see this a lot in today's video and I'm really sorry that it's probably not available anymore but yeah, it works really nicely. I like the fact that they're different textures as well because it takes away slightly from the fact that they are ever so slightly different tones, like li marginally. I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But yeah, this is it fully done up, which I really like as well. It's just such a cute look. And then I've actually bought two yellow tops. I know, 
who is she this one i'm not sure on the other one i think i like more so we're gonna try and compare but this one just seems a little bit more chic i can imagine this with like a pair of linen trousers or a pair of white jeans like i don't know there's just something about it that screams like chic to me whether whereas the other one is a bit more like cutesy girly vibes you'll see you'll see it's got a nice long sleeve this has a split sleeve so it's going to be like nice and flared it's long you can easily tuck it into things it's got a ribbed texture to it. it just looks so cool i can just imagine all of the cool instagram girlies wearing this over the summer i am not one of those so maybe i won't be able to pull this off i don't know but i got it in a size extra small i think it could look really nice with the blue jeans if i really wanted to be like wearing color for the day but i also think this would like i said look perfect with a pair of linen trousers white trousers not black because i just think i look like a bumblebee if i pair yellow and black but anything nice and light in color let's see let's see how this works okay so on the note of the yellow top we're going to contrast and compare this is the other yellow top it's off shoulder very cute side note a lot of the tops in this haul are cute tops like nice tops like interesting tops whatever i'm trying not to use the word cute even though it was the first word that i used and the reason for this being i find when i want to go out so backstory i have been doing a little bit of work on my personal styling journey in which i had a bit of a realization recently and that i think a lot of us do personal style like finding our personal style really backwards like one thing that i had never considered is lifestyle in personal style and the environment around you and there is a reason that i have so many clothes and very rarely know what to wear like i'm not talking about work things work things are easy because that's a different environment sometimes there's dress codes it's often in london like there's a very specific vibe but i don't live in london 90 percent of my time is spent in brighton it's very casual on a night out i do not wear the things that i wear in london for work it's so so rare like a, a night out for me is like at most a cute black dress a pair of tights if it's winter not if it's summer and then like my stuart wiseman over the knee boots and that is dressy like some of the dresses that I have, I could just never wear for dinner out in Brighton. It's just not, it's a very chill, casual space. So when it comes to going out in Brighton, I have literally about three tops that I wear with a pair of jeans and I've worn them over and over again on rotation to the point where the cost per wear is non-existent and that's great, but I'm just at like, they're all black tops. I'm a bit bored. I want something springy, something like this. It's off shoulder, it's interesting. It's a lovely spring summer color. This would look so cute on a night out. Pair of blue jeans, an interesting colored pair of heels like Jimmy Choo, I'm looking at you. That's so fun, that's so easy and I'm not going to feel out of place. So there are quite a few interesting tops in this video because that is what I have found that I am really, really missing. Like day to day in Brighton, I'm actually fine. Like I can just wear a shirt and a pair of jeans and I'm good, I'm fine. Like I can do casual day dressing, but casual even dressing i have knitwear cardigans waistcoats or, or vest tops but then there's nothing else so this is where this is where i'm at so we're going to try this on with the blue jeans as well and see how it works this has no texture to it it's more of a i'm not sure what this material is it's like stretchy smooth <laughs> no idea shall we see what the label says wow there's a lot of cleaning instructions on that recycled nylon 5% elastine. Nice and stretchy. Let's see how it looks. You can tell me which yellow top you think is the one. Yellow top, white skirt. I'm here for it. It's very girly, cutesy. I've paired it with my Chanel sandals because it just felt like it fitted the whole aesthetic. This is actually not how I envisioned wearing it in the initial stages of purchasing it, but I think this might have sold this top to me and i wasn't originally leaning towards this one. It just works so nicely with the skirt. Okay, we need to try it on with more so that I can make a fully educated decision. I like it with the white jeans as well. Wow, this was unexpected. It comes off a lot lighter on camera. It's slightly brighter in real life. It looks like a very pale lemon on camera, but it's just, it's a little bit less pale than it's coming off. Yeah, I really like it. This is unexpected. I'm going to try the other yellow top on and we can see, we can compare and contrast and see how we feel. I actually th think this might be the one though, but the other one's like more dressy. Maybe they serve different purposes, but I definitely don't think I need to keep two yellow tops. No, I don't know. Because I really like this top. I really like the asymmetric thing that we've got going on over here. Please ignore the very loud airplane. Damn. I really like this, but I'm trying to gauge 
would I get the wear out of it. It's just so nice like with a white trouser versus a jean it would look so good. I almost wish I got this in a non-colour or a different colour. Maybe I'll see if I can exchange because then I feel like uh, there'd be grounds for keeping both. Can you let me know what you think please? <laughs> I need help. Maybe I just need help because I'm wearing colour. Yeah I really love this. Damn okay opinions needed thank you. Tell me you like the mesh key one better because cos stuff is so much easier to return. So the other mesh key top I'm very excited by this one. Can I also just side note with the amount of bags that come with this little zip blocky thing now. I love them. These are great for when you're packing for holiday. So we have this black asymmetric top this is actually a lot thicker than i was expecting it to be which is a welcome surprise i thought this was kind of going to be like quite thin and flimsy and maybe just feel a bit cheap no this is stunning i'm really excited about this one this is just going to be a go-to this could even be a nice one for like dressy day stuff as well with like a pair of trousers or a nice like black skirt yeah i'm gonna get so much wear out of this i'm even thinking like with my white skirt that i like to wear in the summer this could be so nice so this for me i think is going to be a winner i got this in a size extra small and i got the yellow in a size small interesting no idea why i did that but there we go yeah i'll show you this now i'm so excited to try this on i feel like i'm gonna say i love this about everything in this haul i love the neckline of this top it's just so interesting i don't have anything else like it i have one like off the shoulder top from cos with long sleeves but going into the summer it's not the one it also looks a little bit more workwear for some reason whereas this is definitely giving more like girly night date night vibe i've paired it with my black cos jeans it would also look lovely with a pair of blue jeans in the same style it also would look nice with a low rise as well but i don't want to even though i'm gravitating towards low rise a lot at the moment i didn't want to style everything in this video with low rise because i know some people just hate it but these black jeans from cos these are the ones that i am obsessed with they're the best best jeans i wear them literally as often as physically possible without just wearing the same thing on rotation they are my go-to for daytime for evenings they're the best they look amazing with just like a pointed very high boot any kind of boot to be honest but i love wearing them with a pointed toe very pointy heel leather shoe they just look so good but they also look really nice with trainers as well you, li literally anything goes with these jeans love this it fits like a dream as well so these are the blue jeans they fit like a dream i don't think i actually got the other pair that i have in a 26 let's clarify hang on i knew it 27 but the black ones are big they have a lot of room to them which is great because sometimes i pull them down and wear them more lower but i didn't want to wear these lower and i already have a pair of blue jeans that don't fit me that well so i wanted to size down because if i'm buying another pair of jeans when my jeans drawer is already full i need them to fit well and they fit like a glove i love them and the length of them is actually really good as well because i size down i think they have changed the length the leg length a little bit as well so i could shave a tiny bit off the bottom but i don't know whether i should bother should i just let them like maybe drag on the floor like a trainer will give me a little bit more of a boost what do we think should i shave the bottoms oh i just love the fit the best best jeans okay quickly gonna show you the Cezanne cardigan that i picked up in pink you've all seen it in gray if you watched the last haul that i posted but i just wanted to update you i did in fact get it in pink and i kept it it's so lovely what i think i really need is a pair of low rise denim to wear with this i think it might make it look a little bit more modern but the way i love to wear this is the top two buttons unbuttoned and the bottom button is it bottom button yeah just the bottom one unbuttoned as well i just love the way it looks it just makes it look a little bit more relaxed a little bit more modern but equally you can wear it fully buttoned up and tucked into things and i think that looks so nice as well fully buttoned up with a white score like i previously mentioned i think is so nice and that will be definitely a go-to look for me during the summer on chillier days because this is obviously a piece of knitwear i just love the color of it i think it actually looks really nice with my skin tone and for a long time i kind of steered clear of baby pinks because i didn't feel like they suited me but this one in particular I think works really well on me. I also think with a grey pair of trousers this could look really nice at like making it feel a bit more fun because my grey trousers I sometimes do feel a bit like too corporate girly when I wear them which is as I said with my lifestyle just not a situation that I am ever really in. So I see this as a really nice piece for adding a bit of like fun to an outfit. And on that note of low rise denim we might as well move on to Urban Outfitters whilst I'm talking about that because I actually did pick up some low rise jeans from them. So hear me out, I know a lot of us that were born in the 90s are not typically a fan of a low rise jean. I know, 
but have you ever been out to dinner wearing high-waisted jeans and regretted it because i literally do all the time i love wearing a low-rise pair of jeans to dinner however the pair that i have had they are so loose on me they are basically falling down to the point where i just can't wear them out to dinner because i'm scared that i'm just gonna flash people so i picked up a couple of pairs i think i got the same pair in two different sizes because i wanted to see which one would fit me better so we've got a 26 waist and then a 28 because i know what my waist is like the smallest point of my waist but i don't actually know like when you're ordering low rise do you still go by waist or do you go by lower waist i don't know so i picked up the same pair in different sizing so i can really like get that perfect fit i'm excited they're a baggy leg they don't look too baggy but like i'm hoping they're gonna be just just right and i think the leg length is just a regular 30 because the 28 was not in stock yeah. sadly these are the urban outfitters jeans in the 28 waist they've got a little bit of room in them but not too much they're so comfortable though and i really love the way they're cut so they're cut with like not a ton of material and room around the crotch which i i think some people might not love but for me with my short legs i do not want more material here like i don't want anything hanging low it makes my legs look like they're about this big whereas this this gives me leg and honestly they're the best low rise fitting pair of jeans like they look so nice from behind like this is the nice thing they're baggy but i still look like i have a bum love the way they fit on the waist they're so comfortable like this is gonna be so nice for eating like there's so much room to expand and i really like them with a nice top as well like they'll look amazing just with like a vest top or whatever or a t-shirt but i also think it's lovely that they look nice with more of a goey out top for reference this is the 26 waist they just are a little bit more snug like i can get just about get my thumb in there and i wanted these for comfort so i'm just not down for them not having any give whatsoever they're also tighter around here i just think the waist 28 is perfect for me so i would personally go up a size if you're looking to get these this is the pink suzanne cardigan on i love it it's so nice it's just such a lovely shade of pink like perfect for spring but also going into the summer it would just be so nice i can take it out with me throw it over my shoulders if it's warm and then when it gets colder i can pop it on and i think it will also look really nice with shorts tucked in as well i also picked up this pair of trousers these are like a very low rise pair of cotton like linen-y look trousers these are the comfiest thing possibly that i have ever owned they're so good so these actually come as part of a set and i just bought them on their own because i actually thought they'd look really sweet with the pink cardigan however i then couldn't get the top out of my mind it's this little like vest top kind of waistcoaty looking thing it ties up it's got two ties in the center it lived rent free in my brain for a good couple of weeks and i was like Do you know what i need to go back and get the top and i can confirm i have no regrets it's so cute so yeah i have those as a duo but also i can just wear the trousers with a different top but the top also looks so cute with so many other things as well i can see me wearing this with a lot of shorts throughout the summer pairs of jeans that kind of thing so it's a nice one to wear together but also when i'm home i can make it look a little bit less holiday by wearing them with different things so i'll show you those now i love it i'm not i have no more words because i'll use the word cute if i have to talk about it anymore but it's just so comfortable so relaxed so breathable so really amazing for like vacation holiday whatever vibes i have no more words it's great i think everyone needs this set it's so comfy like this is so nice and loose and breathable yeah 10 out of 10 and then i might have gone mad and i need you guys to tell me what you think but i got these jeans hear me out hear me out just with a basic top i think this could be really cute maybe a pair of sambas and then with this jacket from h&m i've been looking at this constantly for the best part of about two months now i'm obsessed i just think on the nights out on on the evenings out the dinners out over the interesting tops no not with the collar i don't like that this is so nice i also think over little mini dresses throughout the summer whether it's on a night out or during the day this would be so nice like almost giving festival vibes but not quite festival vibes it's like a distressed brown yeah i'm gonna go with a brown it's like a distressed brown dark very dark brown leather jacket and it's so nice i'm a big big fan of this it also looks very cool 
these in my personal opinion. I know this is going to divide opinions, but let us all just remember when I first got cowboy boots from Urban Outfitters and everyone took the piss out of me as well. And look at us all now. Taking a deep breath because I know some of you are going to have so much to say on this. Maybe you're right. I don't know. I don't know. I actually really like them with this. I also wonder if it could look really nice with the cos waistcoat. I think a white top, even if it's a vest top, or a black vest top for me, just something really simple on the top half that's very plain is perfect to counteract what is a very extreme print. I'm also wondering if the Cezanne cardigans could look really sweet, like fully buttoned up with this as well, so maybe we can try that. But I really love it with the H&M jacket. I love this jacket. This jacket is just perfect. It fits so nicely. I think I got a size small, I will clarify in the info box. It fits very well it's not over i wouldn't call this an oversized jacket at all like it's got a little bit of room in it but it's not like it's not crazy oversized like half of the leather jackets out there at the moment it's not super long so it does just look like it fits well yeah i love it i love it with the trousers okay yeah i like the jeans with the Cezanne cardigan you can wear it like open like i do or you could like fully button it up if you wanted to i just personally don't feel like that's gonna look amazing on me but I know some people just love the Cezanne cardigans fully buttoned up and like tucked into a pair of jeans so each to their own. They're definitely an interesting piece. I personally just think with a plain vest top and the leather jacket thrown over the top that is just such a nice look for me. A really nice one for weekends. I can just throw my trainers on with it. Yeah. Let me know your thoughts. I'm scared. Oh my god. But do you know what? This is the type of item that will get the worst comments. Like the cowboy boots, the cowboy boots got the most horrendous comments, but I know they were your most purchased. And I think this might be another situation where I'm absolutely rinsed, but so many of you love them. I think because we're all so varied in like age range and there's so many of you obviously, like sometimes the comments aren't actually reflective of whether people love things or not. But if you don't comment often, but you do actually like these, can you let me know? I rest my case, imagine me getting coffee, Sunday morning, need to take the bottoms up because I'm so short, but I've sold them to myself at the very least. So yeah, keeping these. So anyway, those are my bits from Urban Outfitters. Do not switch off at the sight of those leopard print trousers because trust me, you want to see the things from Anthropology. If you didn't like the leopard print trousers, you are going to love what I have picked up from Anthropology because for every wild card that I give you, I give you some stunning, very wearable, very everyday pieces. And I'm going to start you off with the gorgeous top that I picked up from Anthropology. I actually picked up a few really nice tops. So we have this one that I'm currently wearing. It's got this cut out in the middle, cut out underneath the boobs. It's a bit big on me. I've got a small and it's not as small as I would have hoped, but it's also one of those ones that has a zip side up until about here. And then you have to get it over your shoulders. As we know, I have very wide shoulders and I get stuck in these kinds of tops. So I'm happy to use a little safety pin to hold this in when I wear it. If it means that I don't break it, trying to get it off over my head. I did try and slip it on from the bottom up. Mm -mm. Shoulders and ass, far too big for that kind of thing. All retailers, can we just make a zip that just, I just need I just need a full zip so I can open it up and zip it around my body, please, please. But anyway, I got this top, which I'll show you in a second. I'll show you all the tops at the same time because they can be paired with anything. Look at this one. Does this not scream summer? I was not expecting this. I was expecting like a flimsy satin number, that kind of thing. So it looks like a neck, a necktie <laughs> it looks like a what's the word like a beach towel kind of no what's the word you know when people have the big giant handkerchiefs which i can't think of the name of and they like tie them around their body that it looks like one of these but it's actually more of a knitted material and it's got an elasticated top yes Oh my God, so it's actually gonna fit over the boobs really well. Great. I love this. If you're going on a holiday to Greece, this would be beautiful. South France, it's giving like European girl summer vibes and I'm, I am obsessed. I was so excited for this. That and this would also look unreal with this, which I picked up also from Anthropology. All of this is from Anthro. It's a very long black satin midi skirt. My Zara one has shrunk 
in the wash i swear to god it's getting shorter every time i wash it it sits at a very awkward length now it doesn't look super modern it's just starting to like i don't know there's something about it that's starting to feel a bit dated it also has a slit down the side which i don't really like anymore i just wanted a full black maxi skirt and i actually did have a gorgeous low rise black maxi skirt if you watch the barley vlog and any vlog last summer you will have seen this skirt in particular because it's my favorite skirt that i wear so so much can i find it no haven't seen it since i got back from bali if i have left it in bali i will be raging I haven't seen it since i moved back into this house from ryan's house and it's definitely not in ryan's house because that house is empty now you know we don't live there so i don't know where that skirt's gone so i decided to pick up this one when i saw it on anthropology and it's perfect perfect length fits perfectly over the hips the sizing is great it's got an elasticated waistline so you can kind of wear it higher or lower if you want and i just think it's going to look perfect with my interesting tops literally all of the interesting tops bar the yellow ones in this haul would be stunning with this i highly recommend it. it's also not that kind of satin that sticks to you and gets static as well so big fan i got this in a size eight if you're a shorter girl as well you like it will fit your leg length and if you're taller you can just wear it like slightly lower than i would normally wear it your average height is just going to be perfect so a stunning find i love this top it is so versatile it looks great with jeans it looks really lovely with a long black maxi skirt i think it would look lovely with a white pair of trousers as well if you are a bride i think you need this if you have a holiday booked i think you need this if you just have like nice dinners out planned i think you need this it's so nice and you can wear things that are high-waisted over it as well it's not too bulky so you can have something that's like high-waisted to kind of cinch you in if you don't love like a low hanging top i actually really like it with the black skirt i think it kind of draws the eye down and elongates the figure and it just looks kind of like chic i don't know with a pair of heels as well i think it would just be lovely but yeah equally with a really nice pair of trousers cute jeans this top she is the girl that can do everything i love this is so nice prepared to be sick of her because i am going to be wearing this all summer i can already see so many ways that i will wear this in my wardrobe so i know this is a keeper this would look great with jeans with this black skirt with a pair of linen trousers white smarter trousers white jeans it would look amazing with those two a little white skirt my options my options are endless this is just a really lovely very versatile but still statement top like this is she is not basic in any way i now finally understand the idea of a going out top like this is a very summery going out top but still so perfect and i really like the fact that it is like a knitted material and thicker so it will work both when i'm away and also for in the uk pairing it with the jeans how nice is that i love that because they're low rise as well you just get that little bit of like tummy here but not a lot at all do you know what this would also look great with the low rise like cottony linen trousers from urban outfitters as well your honor i rest my case so cute at this point i think we should just be asking what in my wardrobe this top doesn't go with because i can't find anything <laughs> no i'm just kidding there's a pair of stripy trousers back there which i think that would be what doesn't go with this is another stripe oh my god i love it this is so nice and then i've got another interesting top so i'm thinking the girl that was wearing this on the website actually had like a long necklace on because i thought there was some kind of like necktie situation with this but apparently not however still a very cute blue top am i gonna keep it i don't know we'll see i'm gonna try i'm gonna try it on and see how i like it it does look like it's gonna be quite big i think anthropology sizing is quite generous this might not stay up on me because there's multiple things like holding this top up like there's a bit more structuring on the sides whereas all this has is like this rubber at the top we'll see we'll see if the girls can hold them up yeah very cute not what i thought i was getting but anyway still cute i also got this bikini i just love the color do i need another bikini no but also it's kind of reversible as well which i really love i have no excuses i just thought it was really nice this top has a little bit more tummy showing than i expected so it's giving me i'm away on vacation vibes so i've paired it with the urban outfitters low rise cotton trousers and it looks really nice i do think it would look nice with jeans on a night out but it is just a little bit more open this is more drinks on a night out not dinner and drinks if you if you get me this is this is not i am eating garlic bread attire but it's still really cute and i actually can't decide whether to keep it i do think it would be such a nice 
holiday top but it's not actually the reason that I bought it I thought it would actually make a really nice like interesting top but it's giving more vacation than girls night out what do we think let me know in the comments and maybe that will help me decide <laughs> just so you can see what it looks like with a higher rise pair of jeans I don't love it so yeah if you're wondering why I'm pairing a lot of these tops with low rise it's because otherwise it looks like this and I, I'm not a fan this is the cutest bikini ever it actually comes off brighter in real life than it is on camera it comes off like a almost like a lemony yellowy green on camera but in real life it's like the cutest elderflower like that's the only word i can think of because i have a nail polish in this exact color called elderflower but it's like this gorgeous pale bright green and i don't know how something can be pale and bright at the same time but it just is like it's not neon but it's just like a bright spring matcha green if that makes sense but not to be confused with like a, a grazy green not that kind of matcha green, like a just a bright. I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it's just such it's so unique and lovely and fresh. Like fresh is the word <laughs> that I want to use to describe how the colour comes off in real life. It's just beautiful. So yeah, very happy with it. It's also very generously sized. I got an extra small and I was expecting this to maybe have gone a little bit wrong, but it's actually like so so well sized. Like I, if I want to, I can like make the cups way bigger and everything like that and you can move them about and it's the tie neck and a tie back and yeah it's just lovely this is completely irrelevant to my clothing that i bought from anthropology but i also picked up these candles because they're so cute look at the detail i love that just obsessed with cute things for my dining table right now anthropology have the best home stuff if you like that colorful cluttery home vibe they are perfect my final item for this haul is one of my favorites though if you are a neutral lover put your sunglasses on this dress is so stunning it's a mini dress with long sleeves they kind of flare out a little bit it looks quite low but it actually has like a tie section somewhere around here it's just so gorgeous it's fuchsia pink orange suns this will get a lot of wear in ibiza this year i know i'm meant to be going bridal and wearing white and blah 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 but like so fun this is so fun throw on a pink pair of sliders throw your hair in a bun nice pair of sunnies you're good to go this is so nice so i'll show you that on now i love this dress so much it's so cool they also do this dress like in a swimsuit in a bikini print i love it i love the sun it just makes me so happy looking at this dress i love the fit of it as well it's very what is it like a line straight shift dress vibes it gives me like 60s 70s 70s feels it's so nice you can undo the tie here if you want but i actually just think it looks so much nicer with a higher neckline it's so cute though i just love it i think with a little bun cute bag chunky shoes like that is that is the look it's perfect that is it for my haul today thank you so much for joining me as always please let me know what you love and don't love in the comments below be nice because some people are not but i hope you are all having the best day and i'll see you guys again very very soon love you bye